Hey guys, today I thought it would be fun to go shopping for some back to school clothes, specifically for summer school, but I'm also just gonna look for any school clothes in general. And I really wanna check out Hollister. Thank you so much to Hollister for sponsoring today's video. Okay, that was ridiculously successful. Look at this huge bag that I got. I'm so excited. I was in there for so long just looking at everything because they had so much good stuff. I tried on like a million things and I think I'm all set for back to school. All right, it is time for the Hollister haul. I thought I would do a little try on for you guys and like show you how I would style the outfits. Every piece that I'm gonna show is so versatile. You can like mix and match a ton of the stuff. I'm just so excited about this because I feel so cute and confident in these clothes. I'm actually so excited to have them for the back to school season starting off we have this new york top and then these really cute jeans they have these like rips in the knees i'm not very tall so i'm trying to like give you guys a full view here they're just this like really cute baggy fit and they are high-waisted this t-shirt is also so cute they have such good t-shirts everything that i got is also so comfortable usually high-waisted jeans for me are just not comfortable at all but these ones are they're really soft normally i feel like i'm like suffocating in high-waisted jeans but these ones do not make me feel like that at all. Okay, next outfit. I'm obsessed with this skirt. I feel like these skirts have been so in recently. It's just so comfortable. I feel like you can wear it with so many things. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It also comes in white, which I almost got. <laughs> Might still get it, honestly. I feel like I'm just gonna be living in these skirts this summer and fall. It's so versatile. You can wear it any season. Also, I've been loving seeing girls pair skirts like this with like t-shirts. I feel like that's not something that you would usually see. Like you would think, a nicer girlier top would go with this skirt but i love like the contrast of the two so i feel like these work well together but speaking of a girlier top this also works so well with this skirt like this is just so cute okay next outfit I'm wearing this striped top with these blue parachute pants the colors match so well together also i love these pants you can like adjust the rise because they tie right here so you can make them high rise if you want but i personally like them to be a little bit lower and then you can even adjust how wide like the legs are these are just so comfortable it feels like wearing sweats without actually wearing sweats okay speaking of parachute pants i wanted to show you guys this other pair that i got this is just this white pair they are so cute they just make me feel so confident i feel so cool wearing them but also this top i feel like we just need to take a second to talk about it because it's so cute and it fits so well i feel like it's so flattering i just love the cut of this like the length is perfect i've also been loving like blue and white recently so everything about this top I love. They also have it in a bunch of different colors. Okay, I have another top to show you guys with these pants. I got another t-shirt. This one just says San Diego on it. And I actually sized up in this one because I wanted it to be a little bit like flowier and baggier. But then with the New York one, I just got my normal size. You can obviously wear t-shirts so many ways. But I love the way that they look with the parachute pants. Look at how cute this outfit is. I'm obsessed with these jeans. These I think are like the baggy dad jeans or something like that. They don't have any like holes in them. Them, so they just look really nice. I feel like it matches with this top because I feel like this like dresses it up a little bit. I just feel so cute right now. I can't stop like looking in the mirror at this outfit. <laughs> All right, so the next outfit is a very comfortable one. So I have these sweats on. You guys already saw this top, but these sweats are so good. They are these like wide leg heather gray sweats that are just so, so soft. I was so happy when I found these because I have been looking for the perfect pair of gray sweatpants, but I ended up finding a whole outfit out of it because okay look at this shirt it says new york on it in green and it matches really well with these sweats but i also found this sweatshirt that also says new york in green and it is the exact same shade as the sweatpants and so it makes the perfect sweat set oh look how cute this is i love it i've been wanting a sweat set for so long because i don't think i have any but this is just the perfect one like imagine this with like some white sneakers and like a bunch of jewelry or something that would look so good okay you guys i am sweating 
setting so i need to end this here but i am being so genuine when i say that i love everything that i got from hollister everything is so comfortable and i really would recommend all the pieces to you guys and they are having an on-site sale from july 19th to august 3rd so go check that out jeans are starting at 25 us dollars tees are starting at 10 us dollars and then sweatshirts are also starting at 25 us dollars so definitely go check them out because there are going to be such good deals going on but i also have a code for you guys to be able to receive an additional 25 percent off from july 28th to july 31st and that is all caps hco every day i will have it on the screen for you guys go check out hollister i cannot recommend them enough okay it's a bit later i was just doing some editing and now i'm about to leave to go to a movie with brayden and his brothers i don't know if i said this but his little brothers are visiting him right now and so we've kind of just been trying to like take them to go do fun things and stuff so we're gonna go see a movie but it's outside and it's gonna be like a picnic it's at the courthouse and i think that every friday they do that i'm not sure but today they're playing close encounters so we're gonna go see that i've never seen it before i guess it's an alien movie i had never heard of it but it should be fun i'm excited It is a week later. I thought it would be fun to pick this vlog back up today because I am planning on doing my first solo beach day today. I feel like I've been super busy since moving here and things haven't felt super normal yet. Brayden's family came into town for a bit, so it kind of just still felt like a vacation when they were here. I feel like I haven't settled into a routine yet. Every day has just been kind of like chaotic. Like I can't believe I haven't done a beach trip since being here. I have with other people, but not just like a casual, beach day like I haven't put on a bikini to go tan and it's literally summer the weather also has been weird here so that's partially why but today the weather is nice and I actually have a reason that I want to go to the beach today I signed up for a book club and there's a meeting in a couple days so I need to read the chapter for it and I figured why not go to the beach and read it I feel like that would be so nice I think the tides are low today which is good I also haven't been able to go to the beach because the tides have been so high that there is no like beach there's no sand there's a lot of cliff beaches in Santa Barbara So the water just goes all the way up to the cliff and there's nowhere for you to like sit out So that's kind of how it's been recently. I feel like I just haven't had a routine It's also hard when my apartment is still kind of like a mess Like there's a lot of furniture that I don't have my dresser actually came in and we built it So i'm super happy to have that just like out of the way you guys will see all of that in my bedroom makeover video But that's kind of just an update on how things have been going so far here I don't want it to sound like I am not having Having a good time because I feel like the things I've been talking about have been maybe a little bit more negative not even necessarily negative just not like positive but I truly have been so happy here I feel like I've never been so content before I actually saw a comment today on a video that I just posted I actually just uploaded the move-in vlog so if you haven't seen that go watch it and while I was editing I kind of noticed I just look so happy in that video and I was like I haven't seen myself like this in so long like so genuinely happy and excited about life and I was like wow day one of living here in the vlog and it was already like kicking in this like new energy of mine I actually saw a comment saying our Kenna is back and basically that like they hadn't seen my energy like this since before I even moved into my dorm which is literally so true that just made me happy that other people were noticing it too because in the comments a lot of people were saying that I looked so happy and that just makes me even happier that you guys are like feeling this positive energy from me I guess that sounds so corny but you know what I mean I'm just so happy here anyways I just wanted to sit down and give you guys a little update on how things have been I feel like the videos I've been filming recently are very structured which was intentional but still I have missed getting to just like talk to you guys about things that aren't like decorating the apartment I guess even though like I love doing that but still I feel like this is just us on FaceTime or something so it's always nice to do these kinds of videos okay my camera died while I was getting ready let's get dressed to go to the beach. I have my outfit picked out already. I'm actually gonna wear one of the Hollister outfits that I got the other day. So I'm gonna do this striped top with the white pants, but I don't know what the weather is gonna be like. I feel like you just never know here. The weather app can say one thing and then you walk outside and it just feels totally different. So I wanna be prepared in case it's a little bit cold. This sweatshirt is perfect for the beach, I feel like, because it's so lightweight, but it's just really soft. I feel like it can still keep you warm. So we're bringing this one. It's also very comfortable. I sized up a little bit, so let's change. 
Okay, here is the outfit. I feel like this is so cute and beachy. Don't mind how messy my room is right now because I just finished building my dresser and nothing else is like organized yet. So my room has just been messy along with my entire apartment. I feel like ever since I've moved in because when you first move in somewhere and you don't have your stuff like organized in all the proper places yet, if that makes sense, like it's hard to like clean up and put things away when that thing may not even have a place yet. So that's why my apartment has been messy. But anyways, I'm gonna end up wearing some different sandals but i actually untied the ankles of these pants so they're a little bit more like wide leg and i really like the way it looks also i need to get together a little bag with the stuff i'm taking to the beach including this book this is a book that i am going to be reading for the book club it's called the four agreements i've just heard so much about it and i don't even know exactly what it's about out. I just know it's like a self-help type of book and I've heard it's really really good So when I saw that the book club was doing this I was like, okay, that's my sign to sign up because I've been wanting to read this book for so long Okay, this tote bag doesn't really match this outfit But it was the only one that I had that was big enough to fit all of my stuff So we're just gonna take it anyways And if the tide is still too high when I get there There's a place nearby where I can just like go sit at a table Instead with a nice view of the ocean still So we have a backup plan Let's head over Brayden because we're gonna head to In-N-Out. I've been craving an In-N-Out shake for probably a couple days now. I don't know why I just acted like I was gonna say a really long amount of time. Yeah, probably like two days. We're gonna go get In-N-Out. We both just wanted to get out of the house, so we're also gonna go eat at a park or something. I'm not even sure where yet, but we will figure it out. <laughs> It is the next morning. I did not want to film because I am self-conscious because my skin is not doing too well right now, but it's like, you know what? Who cares? I was just gonna wait until like I got ready and stuff, but I just don't want to do that. I want to film now. So that's what we're gonna do. I thought I would show you guys how I've been planning out my days recently. This has been really, really helping me. So I feel like I have not had a routine recently. I think I did talk about that a little bit yesterday, but my sleep schedule is off and that's really just messing things up. Also just the fact that my apartment isn't like fully done yet so it's always just like a little bit messy and there's a lot of stuff with like sponsorships going on right now so I've kind of had to prioritize that over other stuff because of timing I don't know if that makes sense but things have just been a little bit chaotic recently I feel like every day has been so busy yet nothing gets done at the same time and it's driving me crazy speaking of excuse the background because it's probably super messy right now like I don't have a couch yet my entertainment center is actually coming today so I want to apply plan a time to build that. I have this planner. This is a moleskin planner. This is inspired by Miss Reagan777 on TikTok. Specifically, her spam account, I think it's called Reagan Corsi, but basically she did the 75 hard challenge, which is basically this challenge where like you do two workouts every day, you eat healthy, you read every day, you have this like really solid routine, and she vlogged like every single day of it, and it was just so good, so inspiring. I've been loving her TikToks, and basically this is the planner that she uses and this is how she writes out her days. So that's where I got this from. I did not come up with this. Also, sorry if you hear the ice maker. That's the only annoying thing about it is that when I film, it's really loud. But it is a Monday now, so I get to start a new week. This is what the pages look like. I hope it's not too washed out and you can see it, but basically there's just a spot for each day of the week on this side, and then this side is just lined. I really, really like this layout because you have so much room to just jot down random things on this side, but you still can like have structure on this side to plan out your days and stuff so i'm just gonna do little bullet points of everything i want to do today i feel like with planners my thoughts were always to just like write down the main plan i had for today so say i was hanging out with a friend at five i would say hang out with friend at five and then that would be the only thing i would write on that day but now the way that reagan does it is she writes down literally everything she wants to get done today she basically just uses her planner as a giant to-do list which i don't know if that's like how everyone does it or what but like i just never thought to do it like a to-do list but that has been helping me 
me so much recently. I need to edit this vlog. I'm gonna look at the previous day to see if there's anything that I didn't do that I need to do. I also wanna do my nails today. I soaked off my acrylics in my natural nail era. I actually decided I was gonna start doing my own gel nails, like the gel extensions at home, just because it's cheaper than going to a nail salon. I can do it myself so I can like be picky with the designs and stuff like that. And I just think that it would be really fun to do. And I ordered just about everything for it. And I was like gonna start and then I saw a TikTok about gel allergies and I was like, oh, I cannot do this. Like I had no idea how dangerous it was to do your own gel nails at home. Basically, like if you get the gel on the skin and you don't like wipe it off immediately or like cure it for a long time, like I don't even know the science behind it. I guess it just like gets into your skin and you develop a gel allergy and there's no cure. It's super uncomfortable and painful and it literally just like will last your whole life. It affects other things too, like dental issues or like if you need a hip replacement, you can't do that because you are now allergic to acrylates acrylates I don't know how to say it basically like it just messes you up and it's something that can so easily be prevented so I was like you know what I am not gonna do this at home because it's just not worth it so short story long <laughs> I'm gonna try to do press-ons today because I actually have some that I've never used and I'm gonna see how I like it and then if I like having press-ons I'm just gonna use all the supplies that I bought to do gel nails but just make my own press-ons so I'm still doing my own nails I'm just not like applying the stuff on my actual nail i'm just painting a nail and then gluing it on like a press on i hope that makes sense <laughs> that's gonna be my new strategy to do my nails hopefully it lasts honestly i could see myself getting tired of it and just going back to like getting acrylics all the time but it's just so expensive so we'll see how press ons work but i'm just trying to grow out my natural nails now this is like the first day that i actually don't have a ton of stuff to do which is super nice but i highly recommend this planner i put some little stickers on it this is from target i think i'm all ready to start my day i do want to get ready though Guys, I'm getting ready, obviously. And I got the notification that my entertainment center was delivered and I look and it's there, but it is huge, which I like was expecting, but it is so heavy. I literally cannot bring it inside. Like I, it is physically impossible for me to bring it inside by myself. So I'm gonna ask for help, but that will not be for a little bit. So it's literally just gonna be sitting there for a minute. I'm excited to build it though. You guys will see that in my living room makeover video. Anyways, let's keep getting ready. Okay, I got dressed and I did my hair. I just did this like cute little messy bun. I love doing buns where you can still have like the part because I feel like the layers in my hair don't work if I just put it all back in a messy bun. Like everything just kind of falls out. Guys, let me know if you're watching Love Island UK right now, but don't say any spoilers. I really like this season. Guys, look at these cute little straws that I have. They have little like fruits on them and they're all different colors and they have been making my coffee drinking 10 times more enjoyable. But right now, I'm not feeling Feeling like sitting at my computer and doing work so we're gonna do one of the things on my list that is not computer work I sold some clothes to make room for some new ones and to just clear my closet out mainly just things that don't really like fit me very well anymore so we're gonna package those up and take them to the post office Guys, it is so much later. My entertainment center came today and Brayden and I spent a few hours building it. It kind of just like took up a good chunk of the day. We went to grab lunch and we went to the post office and then we started building it. And now it's like nine o'clock. And so the entire day just went by so fast. So I am super glad that that's just done. I thought it was gonna end up sitting in the box for a few days before we got around to building it, but I'm really excited that it's done. I will show you guys in the living room vlog. I know that's so annoying to like gatekeep my entertainment center right now, but I promise it'll be worth it when you guys see just like the finished living room reveal. Hi guys. It is the next morning. Actually afternoon now. It's 12 25. I went to hang out with my friend Taylor this morning. We got bagels and they were so good. It was like a cinnamon bagel but it had peanut butter and bananas on it. I am feeling so tired because I think I already talked about it in this vlog but I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back on track and so I woke up at like 7 ish this morning and I didn't get up until like around 8. Let's make some coffee and then we're gonna do something fun. 
guys, I could literally fall asleep right now. I'm just standing up. I didn't even go to bed late either. Okay, now that I have my coffee, let's start on my nails. I'm gonna do press-ons for the first time. I am just so excited about it. I really, really hope I like it because I think it would be so fun to like do my own press-ons. It's also just like a much safer way to do your own nails at home. But yeah, anyways, now that I don't have any more furniture to build, I can do my nails. I was honestly super stressed this morning. I'm excited to just be able to like take some time for myself and kind of just relax and not have to think about too much because this morning I was just super anxious and stressed out. I feel like there's a lot going on right now in terms of like school and YouTube stuff. And also just the fact that I moved and I'm like adjusting to this completely new, different place, new life, meeting new people, stuff like that. So yeah, I've definitely been very stressed the past couple days. I hadn't really felt super stressed since being here until these past couple days. So I really, really desperately needed just some time to myself without having to worry about like the other things that I should be doing. Another reason that I hope I like doing press-ons is so that I can make my friends nails. <laughs> I think that that would be so fun. One of my love languages is definitely gift giving. And so making them like press on nails that are like personalized to their style would just be so fun. I love the idea of that. Here's an update on my natural nails right now. They're not looking too great because you can kind of see where the acrylic started like halfway down my nail. So once they grow out, I'm sure they'll look a lot healthier, but yeah, we're working on it. Thank you. 